please welcome back to my channel so i just want to say thank you for joining me don't forget to leave behind a like and subscribe okay you've got the priestess of success this is someone who presents themselves very very confidently okay um they've got the eagle next to them here okay so i do believe this person is single right now um I feel like they have a bit of an entrepreneurship energy about them. They're coming in with very masculine energy. The dates that the Priestess of Success rules are March 18th to April 14th. Um, so some of you might be having um, a fellow Aries uh, coming in, maybe even borderline Pisces Aries person coming in or might have that placement somewhere in their natal chart. Um, the bird is often seen as a messenger, so it could be someone that's a very a very good communicator. They're a messenger of some sort here. Um, they, they present themselves quite confidently. They're very articulate. They've, they're, they're quite charming, okay? They've got a way with words, um, this person. Um, they're coming in very, very successful here, almost like with a halo around them. So I believe they've they've um, reached some sort of level of success in their life. Okay, um, they they um, inspire or lead a lot of people. This could be professionally, or this could be just spiritually through their energy. I do believe they are a pioneer in a lot of ways, um, especially because you know the eagle travels alone. Um, if they do have that Aries energy coming through with those dates, I do believe that this person is very similar to you, a bit of a, um, a firecracker, um, a game changer, a shapeshifter, a, a trailblazer, an influencer. They make an impact around the people, um, everywhere they go, okay, around the people. They, they just have that effect on people here. Um, but I love the green. I feel like this can also symbolize them to be quite an, um, a grounded person, okay? So they might have elevation or success around them, but I do sense this person is quite grounded, okay, which is really, really nice. It's very refreshing. They're very humble, okay? And there's a lot of growth potentially happening around this this person right now um, messages could be coming in very very soon around this person the bird carries a message okay communication of some sort um, is occurring here okay let's have a look what else comes up for this person who is this person coming in around you okay four of swords i definitely feel like this person has air energy somewhere in their natal chart Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Definitely the notion of a soloist, okay? I feel like this person is um, an entrepreneur, is currently single, extremely independent, okay? Not very clingy, not very codependent. Um, they could be concentrating on themselves right now in their spiritual quests. Um, the Four of Swords is often a bit of a slumber here. This person might be taking a step back away from love, considering it's a love reading. They might be taking a step back away from love, not really putting too much focus or emphasis on love at this point in time. Um, I do believe they don't let a lot of people get close to them as well, okay? There might be a, a certain guard here. They might have their guard up. They could also be prone to anxiousness, um, insomnia. But I, I feel like their spirit, their spiritual growth that's happening around them right now Anyway, um, let's have a look what else comes up. Okay, the Magician. This is the time of Aries that has come up. Very interesting. Um, the Trailblazer, the Pioneer. He's the first of the Tarot deck, the first of the Zodiac sign. This person is, is, is doing a lot of firsts in their life right now. So that's very nice to see. I do believe they have some sort of talent or craft um, that they're possibly discovering around this point in time. Um, I sense that you might um, you might find yourself, your creative endeavors, your personal pursuits might lead you um, to this person, okay? It might lead you in some way to them. Uh, again, the wings, the birds, messengers, uh, message, communication. This person might work in communication or psychology, something about relaying messages. Uh, the, the magician is also well known for his crafts. This person could be quite talented, but it's an individualistic approach. So it's either they've got a very autonomous role uh, or perhaps... Um, 
they're starting their own creative pursuit or endeavor will be very lucky will be very well known for this endeavor that they start or will start um, with the magician they're tinkering with a lot i feel like they're in a period where they're experimenting okay nine of swords definitely air placement in this person's chart okay i feel like um they're, they're currently at a time in their life where they're looking above for answers, okay? They might be looking to God, to spirituality, religion. They're looking above for answers. You can see this person looking above. Uh, it's like a spiral of thoughts and these dark ravens, you know, travel in a pack in a circle here. Um, I feel like right now they're in a period of their life where they're hoping for light at the other side of the tunnel here. Um, especially in communication somehow so if you're already connected to this person they're hoping for more communication or more positive communication or affirmation it's almost like reassurance they could be someone that does suffer from a little bit of self-esteem issues i feel like the way they present themselves is someone very proud and successful and confident but underneath that i do feel like this person has vulnerable layers so you might find that this person doesn't give away a lot but mentally i see that this person is quite complex okay there's there's a certain element of complexity about them um and there, there's something about always needing validation or reassurance. Um, that's coming up quite strongly as well. Um, it's also like sub submission, okay? Really, they could be quite timid and submissive. There's definitely a side of them that is more low-key, more reserved, more disconnected or detached Aries. But I do sense that a part of them um, it definitely has this air energy nine of swords is anxiousness or nervousness um they might have not had much luck in love lately okay and if they have um they might have been scarred they might have been taking a break in their love life because the magician can often manipulate things so they might have been tricked or played you know burnt by someone not necessarily an aries but someone that has made them a little bit fearful of getting involved in a serious long-term relationship okay this is further reiterated with the seven of swords which possibly um, denotes uh, deceit hardship restrictions confinements um, confinements of the mind mental disconnection here so yes okay a part of them could suffer from anxiousness but the seven of swords i feel as though there's deceit around this person okay either in their past or happening to them right now. Um, it could be within a friend thing as well. They might have been deceived by people they were involved in business with or perhaps through a friend. Okay, there might have been some sort of deceit. It could have even been with an ex-lover. Um, I feel like they might have someone that still is lurking around them. It could even be like a, an ex checking in on them um, or someone like keeping watch or if it's not someone keeping watch on them, then they're keeping watch on, on someone, okay? Um, but I don't think this person has feelings for that other person anymore. I think it's it, it's more like this person is causing them a bit of, uh, it's like a hindrance, a bit of a nuisance here maybe. Um, so that's coming up. I definitely feel like there's transformation. This person wants to soar to new heights, new levels, new adventures. The notion that they're still stuck on this platform and they haven't taken off yet shows that this person is currently um, only now in the early stages of what could be a powerful initiation or transformation, okay? And I do think it's around the self. So self-empowerment, goals, personality, wants, needs, desires, uh, etc. I do think this person is is quite active, um, quite athletic. They could look after themselves quite well. I am seeing a lot of whites and yellows. So this person might have fair, fair features, red hair, blonde hair um, as well. They could like being outside with nature, okay, crystals, nature, the spiritual realm as well. Okay, the hanged man, the high priestess, 
and the nine of swords okay hangman they're definitely in an element of suspense in their life right now um they're definitely imbalanced um it is what i'm seeing the hangman is held in suspension because of something he's done um i feel like this person is weighing up a lot of things there's a major reveal happening with the high priestess it's either a major epiphany or transformation um, they they feel it coming on some being on some level the high priestess is intuitive energy so i think they're aware that there's some sort of change in their life um, it's either to do with love so they're aware that they've been waiting for love okay they, they might be waiting for you i feel like they're waiting for their son so that's nice that that has come up um I do sense that this person is waiting for someone to brighten up their life um, and, and although they could they are quite independent um, I do sense that they are waiting for creativity for, for youthfulness the Sun also does rule youthfulness and children so this person might be quite maternal or paternal or at a stage in their life where they're wanting children or they're wanting a partner to play a stepmother or a step figure role to their own children possibly wanting that family unit here as well with the hangman um but definitely a lot of inspiration okay it's almost like the halo again it's reverence inspiration idolatry that's coming in around this person they're definitely quite creative okay they've got a lot of ideas again athleticism they might partake in meditation um inversions gym classes i do sense them to be quite active but now i feel like their focus has shifted more on their mind their mental state their happiness their sense of worth their self-esteem etc the high priestess here is this massive intuitive energy i feel like this person is quite intuitive they might have some sort of gift here um, the high priestess is a very strong feminine energy so this person might have a very good relationship with their mother sisters girlfriends female colleagues um there's a there's a very um a very healthy respect this person places towards other females or women in their life so this is quite an admirable quality that they have aries um, they also could be quite religious or traditional um, possibly of jewish christian or um muslim religion so the abrahamic religions is coming up quite strongly um i do believe the fact that she holds the torah here um they they live their they live quite righteously or maybe they're only recently starting to there's some sort of religious connotation coming in around them so it's either they're only recently dabbling in religion they're only recently open to getting married um, but, but i do sense that there's a traditional quality about this person um the pomegranate fruit is also symbolic of fertility and children youthfulness this person might work with children um, or want children uh, or have a large family that where they have lots of little siblings okay um they, they i do feel like they come from a larger family um that's with the high priestess energy this is a very destined connection absolutely beautiful